This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Philippi. My guests today are Elaine Burke, Carrie Shadowich, and the inimitable Rhonda Fabrith. And they are here to talk to us about the, the umpteenth annual Biggest Turkey Competition. We actually can't remember how many years it's been around. But anyway, welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. So we know it's been around a long, long time. A long time. And yes. you've actually been involved with Biggest Turkey for several years now. I think it was 2007 mm -hmm. which I, when I first uh, took it over. When, when hospice moved out of it, uh, Henderson House took it over for a couple of years, but it was too much for one nonprofit to do. So mm -hmm. now there are six that compete for the esteemed title, and and all six of them run. And there's a lot of confusion lots of times mm -hmm. because people say, well, do they get to keep the money they raise? Yes, they do. The charity that raises the most money gets to be biggest turkey and they keep what they raise for themselves. Last year over $142,000 was raised in this community by this community and every dollar stayed in this community. That's amazing. Really wonderful. To to and to help the the people of this community oh, sure. with the various needs. So we're very proud of that. So. Okay, well, do you want to talk about the uh, first couple of candidates? Yeah, well, what I'm going to do is, is name off the candidates and, okay. the, and who they represent. We have a Willamette Valley Cancer Foundation represented by Peter Hofstetter, who is the new CEO out at the hospital. Okay. A Family Place is represented by James Tate, who is the owner of Northwest Food and Gifts downtown. Henderson House is a candidate. Uh, the candidate is Nancy Perez Flores, who is a bilingual advocate with Henderson House. Mid Valley Rehabilitation has one of their clients running. Oh, His fun. name is Bobby he's Lee, dead. and he's so enthusiastic and so excited to be running. American Legion has a veteran, Connie Christensen. Some people know her as Consuelo, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or Connie Christensen is a veteran, and she's running for the American Legion Post 21. And the Habitat for Humanity has our own Yamhill County Sheriff Tim, Tim Spinson representing Habitat. So we have a lot of great people and a lot of fun has been happening already. So, Well, e Elaine, do you want to tell us a little bit about um, your organization? Absolutely. A Family Place is a new organization in our community. We have been around about a year and a half. Uh, we work with families who are raising kids from birth to age five and uh, are high risk for abuse, neglect, or foster placement um, for their kids. And so we have um, parent education, we have home visiting, and we have an actual kind of therapeutic classroom for kids coming out of pretty high stress homes uh, okay. that we work with these kids to reduce stress that they're experiencing and work with their parents to stabilize those families. Mm -hmm. And um, we really want to keep those kids living in their homes and we want to make their homes the place they should be. So is that class? You do uh, it's like a preschool class. Okay. So we have a bus, we pick those kids up, we bring them in, we, they get breakfast and lunch during their time there. And the way that we interact with those kids is a very kind of therapeutic, helping them you know, deal with emotions, process emotions, um, things like that. It's also a break for their parents. We call sure. it a relief nursery. It's a relief for kids. <laughs> it's a relief for parents. It's a relief for everybody. <laughs> yes. They get to work on whatever they need to work on to be a better parent That's during great. that time. Well, yeah. thank you. Okay. And Carrie, do you want to talk a little bit about the Willamette Valley Cancer Center? Yeah, the, Will yes. the Willamette Valley Cancer Foundation has um, evolved in 2002, um, and what we do is we raise money in this community here, and the money that we raise here in this community um, helps um, assist pa patients that are going through cancer treatment, and while they're going through the cancer treatment, we're able to help by, maybe they're not able to work, so we pay for maybe their rent, um, mortgage payments, uh, utility payments, transportation, food, groceries. Um, a lot of people aren't able to get back and forth to treatment. Um, some days they come five days a week and they're not able to work. So in all the money that we raise here in this community, the money is coming back to the community. We also um, sponsor KOB, Kids on the Block After School programs, and teach cancer prevention. And uh, then we uh, just do local fundraisers around here to continue supporting that ever need for our cancer patients. Mm -hmm. So obviously all of these Biggest Turkey candidates are representing very worthy organizations, but we know the Biggest Turkey competition is supposed to be about fun, right? It is. So here's uh, where Rhonda comes this in. This is where we put the fun in the word of fundraising <laughs> because it is in there. So if it isn't fun, then then how can it how can it spread joy throughout the community? 
Uh, the other agency, such as Henderson House, works a lot with a family place because lots of times the, the people are working together. Um, same with, with the Cancer Foundation. I, if a person is, is well off and has a lot of means when they contract something like cancer, it's a, it's, there's not the need a, as it would be. And of course, it doesn't pick rich or poor. It, it picks course. anybody. Uh, Mid Valley Rehabilitation also agencies that work closely with all the others uh, American Legion with the veterans returning there's a lot of need for services and Habitat for Humanity of course striving to have affordable housing for all in this community you know so. really it's it the, the, the charities the organizations they really do represent a nice cross-section of the community yes, because so many of these things can touch any family mm -hmm. I mean every family yes. could need That's virtually true. any one of these That's right or all of them that's, that's important, right. So, and can I also say? I mean, one of the sure. great things about this process is that it's a chance for the six charities to get to know each other and the representatives. And yeah. you know, we have meetings about every other week, and it's a great chance for us to know our colleagues in the community mm -hmm. and really bring that together mm -hmm. as well. That's great. Do you want to talk about some of the activities? Uh, on the 29th of of May, and I have a flyer here. I don't know if it could be seen. Is the biggest turkey bash. Formerly, this was a bachelor auction back in the day when Biggest Turkey was um, run a little differently. We want everyone to come. We, 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 don't, we, we did away with the bachelor auction idea last year. And what, what the, the live auction will be auctioning off is entertainment-themed packages. So there'll be food, it'll be at the ballroom, it starts at 5.30, Our auction begins at 6.30. There will also be lots of raffle prizes, lots of opportunity to come and have a good time and meet everybody and help support your community, bid on something or win a raffle prize. We just want everyone to come and have a good time. And then the lip sync contest will happen during Turkey Rama. It'll happen on Friday night, the 10th of July at 6.30. It's a little later this year, so people have time to get off work and get there. And that, that will be the, the culmination of everything. And that will be when it'll be announced. But each agency is still having their own fundraisers. Three of the agencies are working together to do a garage sale on June 5th. I think it's going to be in the Rite Aid parking lot. They're trying for that. Or they're trying for it. So you stay tuned for that. The best way to know what's going on with all the agencies is to like the Biggest Turkey Facebook page. Go in and like that because I'm posting everything that they give me on that so we can stay in tune with it. Uh, Mid Valley does a does a grease sing along at Third Street. Oh, Pizza. how fun! Well, they did that last year. My husband and I went. We just we had the <laughs> best time, and a lot of their clients come, and everybody's singing and dancing in the aisles and <laughs> to the movie Grease. It was just great fun. So, so get out there and have fun with everyone and help support them. Mm -hmm. Do you, does your organization have some fun activities planned? Yes, we've already um, had a couple that we've done. Mm -hmm. um, up, uh, we're looking at July 3rd, we're doing a barbecue fundraiser with Remy Wines. Um, we're still ironing out the details for that, but it will be July 3rd at Remy Wines and oh, we'll fun. support sure. the Cancer Foundation. Okay. We have, a, we've had a couple as well. I know we have a movie night that we're looking at at Third Street Pizza as well, although I think we're still choosing the movie. Um, I think that's June 3rd. And then we have a, um, we're going to participate in the garage sale on June 5th. So if people want to make donations to that or drop things off or shop either way, uh, that'd be fantastic. And we also have our Biggest Turkey Coffee. So Cornerstone Coffee created a Biggest Turkey That's blend. Right. Oh, and nice. um, we have been selling that coffee since uh, the kickoff on April 1. And so if you want your bag of coffee, just let any of the um, organizations know. Um, and it's been very, very, very popular. Oh, well, that's great. Fantastic. So then it, it's the coffee is, is blended as a biggest turkey, and you get to keep the proceeds from your individual right. sales. For all that you sell. And so. that's how most of these work. Is yes. So for the bash, um, depending on who you buy your tickets from, that mm -hmm. person or that organization um, keeps the money from those tickets. And we each bring two items to the oral auction for the bash, and whatever those items go for, that's money that comes back to our organization. So the bash is really a chance to come support any of the six, which is sure. why it's a great event, because you can bid and on. Tickets are only $15, mm -hmm. and again, you can go to any of the agencies to pick up tickets, or you can pick them up 
at the chamber office mm -hmm. because it is the McMinnville Area Chamber of Commerce that that uh, is is the main engine that runs this whole thing. So that's yes. wonderful. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the year that you were biggest turkey. 2010. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that well. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember that well. Yeah, I really stepped outside my comfort zone many times. You did. That. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And she won. She did. Oh, which wow. was really that exciting. Was fun. Yeah. It was fun. So, I mean, everybody's got to take their turn. I was a Biggest Turkey competitor back in 1995, but not a winner because nobody really told me much about it. I'd never kind of really known anything. And the thing is, is for our lip sync, we did Mr. Sandman. Oh. And one of the women that sang with us said, that she goes, really, I heard Mr. Sandman in my dreams for like a year after that. So it was pretty crazy. <laughs> so now, have either one of you ever run? No. You've never been competitors? No, he never have. Okay. No. Their day is coming. Your day, I'm sure your day <laughs> We are told that on a regular yes. basis. And it's both in learning ready. mode yeah. this year, actually. Yes. Yes. Everybody gets around to it eventually. It's, it is a, it, it's quite a bit of fun. That's fun. It seems like fun. Yeah. I think it's a phenomenal um, event because what happens with the lip sync that happens it, July 10th uh, downtown, it, it's just how this community, it shows what this community is. So many people just come out to <laughs> see, to support. Right. And, you know, the streets fill up oh, just sure. like they did for the Alien Festival. Um, fun, lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Lots of support. <laughs> Looking it, forward to it. You know, it's great to be able to have a good time and, and support, obviously support really worthy organizations that do good and important and serious work. Mm -hmm. But it, it brings, I think, awareness and you know, in public, just public awareness and understanding right. of the organizations in mm -hmm. such a positive way. So it's, it's kind of mm -hmm. nice. I think so in McMinnville in particular, there's really a um, culture that likes to see the organizations working together and, mm -hmm. um, and really supports that. And so it's, it's a fun community to have a nonprofit that you're working with and, and be involved with a nonprofit in this community because there's so much collaboration between them all. Very true. And yeah. you know what, for this, I mean, there's so many different kinds of things. There's, a, you know, a wine event and there's a an auction, but there's also sing along with Greece and mm -hmm. you know fun car washes and yes. garage bowling. sales and bowl oh, yeah, bowling. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Bowling. They, they did their bowling annual bowling and yeah. had a good time. Had a good turnout. We had the Mac Mob lunch. At yes, the, at the Legion. 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 Um, we've had flower sales. We've had. Um, Mother, the for <laughs> Mother's Day. Oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. uh, it just goes on and some business, some guy yeah. a, a fraternity or so. It was fraternity. Right, the, the Linfield Greek at stuff. Linfield mm -hmm. did a uh, in her shoes and walked a mile. I saw in that. Oh, yeah. oh, that's right. I, I yeah, they did that for Henderson House. Oh, that's so. great. Well, ladies, I really want to thank you all for being here today, and I know that we kind of put this together fast. So, yeah. really appreciate your time and thank best you. wishes and may the thank best you. turkey thank win. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're all winners. Okay, yes. Thank you. Yep.